if you can. Hi guys. Happy Thursday evening. And uh, very excited for today's interview. I was interviewed last night by ama my amazing friend, Annette Gutkind. Uh, tonight, I have the honor and privilege, Chris Burns, what's up my brother? Tonight, I have the honor and privilege of interviewing one of my most outstanding clients uh, that I've ever had the um, honor of coaching. And uh, I'm actually gonna bring Kathy in now, um, adding her in, let's see what happens to, um, there we go. Can you hear me, Kathy? Yes, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, okay. Awesome. So, um, obviously, I, I typed your your bio that you sent me so graciously, which was amazing just to read. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm, uh, I'm a big, you know, you and I have been talking for uh, a while, even after we, we finished our, our coaching weeks ago. Um, and it's just always so enlightening to actually hear what people are, you know, receiving from this. And so before I go into my questioning, why don't you uh, take the time now to introduce yourself uh, to maybe some of the people that might pop on here live or on the replay, uh, a little bit about your backstory, um, what had us connect, what was kind of the clarity and why you felt I was a good fit, fit for you and what you were looking to achieve. And, uh, you know, what your new goals are for 2019 moving forward. Oh, man. I can't wait for 2019 to get here, by Me the way. <laughs> I just can't wait. I mean, it's it's going to be on fire. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me on this evening. Um, everybody who's uh, watching or going to watch, my name is Kathy White Cotton, and um, I have... I actually started network marketing way a long time ago, like in the 80s, when it wasn't even thought of as, when it really was the pyramid schemes, <laughs> but um, got out of that completely. Anyways, um, I spent most of my working career in um, mechanical contracting, residential mechanical contracting. I worked in it for almost 40 years. And... Um, Retired out of that at uh, uh, almost the age of 51, uh, which was about eight years ago. And um, uh, it was private industry, so it's not like I, I, I got a big, huge, you know, severance or a big, huge um, a retirement check or anything like that. It wasn't a government position, so there's no... Uh, set money and I'm too young for social security. So, you know, I had to do something. And um, uh, almost two years ago, I got turned on to um, the company that I'm with now and um, by a dear friend. And uh, it not only did it change me physically, um, it was, it's a nutritional cleansing uh, marketing company. Um, but it opened my eyes to the fact that the whole entire world just needs to be healthy. And um, I, I, I was, uh, I still struggle with emotional eating, but I was an emotional eater. And so I needed to get past that. And this program helped me with that greatly. And um, I realized that there was, uh, a calling. And so I, uh, I, I took on the, the task of sharing and like a network marketer is supposed to do. And um, I started doing that uh, up the fall of 2017 and um, was real religious about it because I, in working, when I ran my company, um, 
and it wasn't my company. It was someone else's company, but I ran it for them. Um, it, it's all about systems. It's all about the numbers. It's all about efficiency. It's every, it, and that's true in any business. It doesn't matter whether you put erasers, erasers on the ends of pencils or whether you are shoveling snow from, for somebody. It is all about doing it the most efficient way yeah. it can be done. And network marketing is not any different than, than that. Uh, it's all about the numbers. You got to get in front of or on the phone with or in some way to the masses. You have to. And when I first started, it was Facebook because that's, that's what everybody was doing. And I mean, I use Facebook socially, so that's what I did. And um, so 100% of the time I was... Um, you know, pitching, I don't, I don't like using the word pitching because I'm not pitching, but you know, that's an old business term. Well, wait, you throw enough yeah, mud at the wall, yeah, and, um, and, and some of it's going to stick. And I was throwing a lot of mud at the wall, but nothing was sticking. I mean, I, I got some product users, which was great. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, when you, when you have your own business, when you, especially a network marketing business, if you don't have a list of people that are interested in your business, you don't really have much. So you got to get out there and, and expose yourself. And I love Facebook. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I post on Facebook all the time, but I, I wasn't getting the numbers. And so technically I was still trading time for money sort of. <laughs> and uh, so I, I went on to Instagram and learned all about that. And same thing. Uh, got the same result. Same old thing. I mean, I, I get the whole social scene. Yeah. I mean, I'm there. But I Every, needed Kathy, everyone, um, everyone something has else. the posting thing down. Everyone knows how to yeah. click the post button. But right I, I was talking with uh, a new person that hired me today. And she said her She's been in network marketing for almost two years, right? And doesn't right. have any builders yet. And she said what she's most fearful of is actually talking about the business. And I said, well, what has hmm. you afraid of talking about the business? And she says, I don't know how to talk about it. And it was such a, a light bulb moment for me, Kathy, because it, it takes, it took me back to our conversation when you actually just said to me, I want to start talking about this opportunity. I want to find those people. I want to start conversing with those people that understand that this is a business. So Kathy, let me ask you, you know, I, I have, okay. you know, I've been psychologically unemployable my whole life, but for, for, for all purposes, so have you been. You, you ran a company for someone that you were you right, were in charge. Right. What is the most difficult thing for outside of you and me? The you talk to a lot of people about what you're doing and, and network marketing, and even people that are in network marketing but they're not using LinkedIn. What's the most difficult aspect for people to wrap their heads around? As fact, the, the fact that this is a business. It's not. We're not sharers. We're we're not. You know, we're network marketers, we're, we're professionals. What's the hardest thing for people to understand about that? People who are, uh, first let me define, are, the, are these people that are, uh, want to well, get into the business? They're, they're, or they were these... in the business like you were and they weren't having any builders and, and they don't understand, you know, why, you know, what they're doing isn't working. They're, they're, doing everything they're seeing everyone else doing. They're posting, but when you, when you have a network marketing business, it looks completely different. It's, it's, a, it's a numbers game. What, what, what do you, well, what, what's, what's the most difficult thing that's for the average network marketer that had great results and they shared it with a couple of people that, you know, their daughter joined, their husband joined, now they're a consultant, right? And then the real work begins. The, 
That's exactly it right there. The real work. So just begins. talk about, just, so you, Kathy, you talk about what, like, there's people that, that are probably thinking, well, what's the real work? It's, it's you share, they share. I just have to, what's the real work? You, you, you got to talk to 10,000 people or more. I mean, it's, you just do. You can't, you know, sit and wait for them to come to you. you it's, you got it now. Okay, I'm just going to like say this because be, I'm old be school raw, and this Kathy, is just, just how it is. Real. Just let it out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pretend I'm a guy right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking for a date. <laughs> you ask every single girl that comes across your path because you want a date, period. And that's the same way with network marketing. You got to talk to everybody because here's the thing. You don't know where anyone mm. is in yes. their life. You don't. I mean, it, it's, there's a million different equations. So, and you have to sometimes keep asking, but not like Badger, mm. you know. You ask and then you, you stay connected and you watch that person and they watch you. And one day they just go, hey, you know, can I talk to you? And sure, you become a listener at that point. And you just have to keep doing that. It's like fishing. You don't cast the line and freaking wait. I don't know how many of you know that you cast the line and you wait and then you go, why isn't anything biting? And then you reel it in and there's no worm. And you didn't even know that anything was nibbling because you really weren't I love attention. that analogy. I Not love really. that analogy. And you know, it, it's, that, that's it. You got to go after it and you got to listen. And it's not this thing where you can just sit back and go, okay, now I'm in business for myself. <laughs> <sighs> no. You, you, you put the open no. sign on the door. Come on in. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's drink coffee and talk about whatever. So, I mean, no. you, you, you mentioned two things. One, you mentioned about a list and... This is something that, that everyone uh, talks about. And Nancy just put real people, real connections. And that's what it's about. It's about connecting with people on a real genuine level. So everyone has this list, right? You know, you meet someone in Starbucks, you write their name down and, and that list grows very slowly. But what I've also found is that most people are using that same list from, from two or three right. years ago. And what I personally learned was if you're really doing network marketing, which means, you know, you're, you're doing more than what you're learning at events, because the events we talk about it, it's just kind of the surface. It's, it's, it's the surface level things that, that beginners need to learn to kind of, and then you start building your empire. When, if you're doing network marketing the right way, you're, practicing daily gratitude, you're affirming, you know, your I am statements, you're doing personal development, you're listening to, you're, you're wanting to absorb as much information as possible to, to really become the best version of yourself. So that list that you originally made, basically out of not so much desperation, but your upline said, come up with 100 people, you weren't even looking for the right people, you were just at that point, just writing down names here. Here's my hundred people here. I have them. If you did things the right way, as far as developing yourself, chances are you don't even want any of those people that are on your list. And the idea Whoa. is as, as yeah. you grow, <laughs> you want to, and this is something that I learned from Chris Harder. And he told me we, when we talked a few weeks ago, he goes, you have to up level in every aspect of your life. And we went over the numbers of the average age, the average income of people on Facebook and Instagram compared to that of on LinkedIn. And it's staggering, staggering how much it sways in LinkedIn's favor. Yet people don't want to be on there. They, they have a profile, but they don't know how to use it because their uplines, their uplines are telling them something differently. So let me ask you, 
explain to the audience where Kathy was uh, emotionally with how she was feeling about her network marketing business, uh, about the types of connections she was making or was not making. And the Kathy who is on here right now, who now has this this tool in her tool belt that she can utilize for the rest of her network marketing career, which is LinkedIn. So just paint a picture of where you were to where you are now so people can really understand how powerful and how life-changing this system that I created for you, because I'm a systems-driven person, you know that you saw, even from my videos, how systematic and specific I am with everything that I do. Talk about Kathy before and then Kathy now. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm two entirely different people now. Um, I, I have grown exponentially just by knowing you, Scott. So I, I just want you to know I'm completely different now. Um, in the beginning, I was, I was doing everything that, and you know, it's really important. First of all, you got to get a feel of where you, you got to get a feel of where you're going, what it is you want. And that's why your upline is important to get you started. But you, you, it's like learning how to ride a bike. You got the training wheels at first and then you kick those suckers off and then you go, man, I don't want this little bike anymore. I want to get on a really big bike. And that's where you as a network marketer, as your own, you are your own entrepreneur, you got to make decisions about what it is, where it is you want to drive your that. business. So in the, in the beginning, I, I was, I was doing all of that and, and, I was, it was great. It was new. It was wonderful. And I was learning all the ropes and all of that. And there's a lot to learn, a lot to learn about the product, a lot to learn about the systems, a lot to learn about the training. And I was listening and following everybody and doing all of that. And I was getting healthy at the same time. And then I realized I was in this like real stagnant mm. spot. Nothing was changing with my scariest business. place to be as I a network spend... marketer, scariest place. Right. And I said, I got to do something different. And I, and the problem was I, I wasn't sure what the do was. And that's when my dear friend Joshua turned me on to one of your videos. And um, I watched it and I'm like, who <laughs> is this guy? Because you get right to the freaking point. You don't dilly dally. It is boom. And you're on it. And I'm like, I got to have this. And so I think I, I messaged you or something. And that afternoon we were on the phone and quite frankly, folks, let me tell you, you can't afford not to learn this system. You can't because there's so much, because what happened is we had exactly two trainings together a week apart, if you recall. Uh, once, once I contacted you and once we got, you know, everything squared away, a week went by, I had my first training. Then another week went by and I had my second training. And folks, I'm telling you, when you take on anything new, it's the right thing to have homework to get this stuff done. I don't want to call it crap. It, it's, you got to work on your business and in it all yep. at the same time. You can't take your foot off the gas, you can't. Because when you do, then you're gonna hear crickets, period. So within two weeks, I already had um, phone calls, phone appointments. I didn't have any of that before, nothing. For 15 months, I, I mean, I had I did have two close friends who said they wanted to do the business, that kind of stuff, but it wasn't like this. They weren't. It, 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 was, it, was, the tip, it was the typical drops in the bucket that network marketers get. Right, gets. right, right. And I mean, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. We, we, we work together, all of that. But I wanted people who were professionals, who. And you know, the funny thing about it is, is in, in my other life, when I was trading time for money, 
I was on LinkedIn, but I was on LinkedIn because I was an employer looking for employees. Mm -hmm. I wasn't networking with other business people trying to build my business or help them right. build theirs. It was a place to find employees. Boy, has yeah. LinkedIn changed. Oh, man. And I'm super grateful for that. And so I went from crickets, basically, to um, two to three phone calls a day. Uh, I mean, a, a, you know, appointments. And now, mind you, people, I want you guys to understand this. It's called throwing enough mud at the wall to get it stick. You get stood up on the phone. You get people going, oh, no, I'm not interested. I, I, th no, I am zero. I have zero interest in this. Okay. What's Move the, on. Can, no is one step like, closer to what, yes. What's the alternative to, to sit on your hands? And, or, or right, right. You, you have to, so there's a great book that I told you about that I always talk about with people called Go For No, where – it says, I it's read a that great yet. book because it, it, it says that no is the journey, but yes is the destination. And so you have right. to go on this journey of collecting as many no's as possible to sort through all mm -hmm. of them because behind those no's are the wall of yeses. And what I find is that most people are, are so caught up with, watching what everyone else is doing because in all honesty what was what was frustrating me is i would watch these trainings and i'm like man they're making this look so easy they're just they're, they're almost like too easy i'm like i want someone to just strip this down raw and and give it to me straight up like how much how much time am i going to have to put into this how many conversations a day and a week am I going to have to have for this? Because even me, you know, the sponsor monster that I was, I wasn't having enough conversations either because Facebook and Instagram are not built for business building. They are social right. platforms. Right. And, you know, Kathy, I said this to you when we spoke months ago, Instagram is yoga pants and sports bras and, and <laughs> Facebook is all about people complaining about the weather, the traffic, the government, whatever they want to talk about. And then I opened your eyes to LinkedIn. I'm like, people are afraid of it because they just don't know how to use it. And, and, you, know, right, and you know what I'm seeing right. now, Kathy? I'm actually seeing people think that LinkedIn is just like Instagram and just like Facebook. So what are they doing? They're posting before and after, before and after, before and after, you know, product post, you know, we, we buy one, get one. And I'm like, there, there was a podcast that I was listening to by Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, and I he said guy. the most, the, the biggest problem with marketers today, and that includes network marketers. He was talking about anyone that's in marketing. And if you're a network marketer, you're in the marketing because you're marketing, marketing a product and an opportunity. He said, the problem is most average marketers are using every platform the same way and said that's your mistake right. you need to use facebook for what it's best used for he goes you need to use instagram for what it's best used for and you need to use linkedin for what it's best used for so i asked you ahead of time you know the the, the three biggest takeaways that you had from learning linkedin I want to save that for a second. I want you okay. to talk to the people that are on here that maybe haven't looked at LinkedIn yet, that are, that are twiddling their thumbs, that are frustrated, that are angry, that they know there's something more. If you're going to be serious about being a network marketer, how imperative is it for you and your future of your business to get onto LinkedIn? It's, it is so important. Um, I have to say this because it's, it's one of the things, the reason that LinkedIn is so important to get on into and get familiar with. And, and that's the thing. 
most people don't want to start something new after they've already, you know, they've got the Facebook thing down. Okay, now they got the Instagram thing down. I was thinking about Twitter and I'm like, nah, I don't feel like doing Twitter, but I still might at some point. But they, they just don't want to learn something new. They don't want to learn something new. And LinkedIn is something new. And the thing about LinkedIn is it is crawling, crawling with entrepreneurial professionals. Like for every 10 people you talk to, seven or eight of them are real serious about Absolutely. doing business. That's what it was created for. Now, it might not be what I got to, to offer, but you got to get through those people. And, and the thing about it is, is because you can't, it's just like anything. You can't have 100% customers. It just doesn't you're, work that you're way. Not, you're not going to create residual income. When I was in the bunk, no, <laughs> definitely not. But um, you can't have, um, you can't sell to everybody. And not everybody's going to be a business business builder. You just can't. It's the, if you could, I guess you'd be God. But, you know. <laughs> and, and that's always a possibility. Um, You're so right, the other right. thing that, that you and I talked about was the fact that I think you and I were both sharing common frustrations that, you know, we're, we're told to, to post a certain way on Facebook and the only people that were actually engaging with us were the ones that were already on our teams um, or in our opportunity. So it, it was almost like fake engagement in a sense where. It, right, right. It, yeah. And in the beginning, and that's because, you know, everybody was talking about algorithms and all of this stuff and blah, 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 blah. And um I looked at it like, okay, so I see how this is going to go. I'm just going to do the exposure thing. And w when I have somebody who is interested, whether it's uh, a friend or like, I just had my 40 years high school reunion. So, you know, everybody's looking at my Facebook page now. I say, go back through my feed. It's public. Go yeah. back through my feed. There's, I've got hundreds of, of and you know, if you don't want to take the time to do that, serious. look, here I can, I can, you know, send you stuff. But, you know, uh, in the beginning, it, 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 it was all new. So we, you know, you got to find your sweet spot. You, you know, I, I did that. Everybody did it. I still, you know, people still comment on mine that are teammates of and course. I comment it's, on it is, because, it's, it's all about you support, know, but you, you, you need right, those new right. people to put on your list. Absolutely. Right. You know, Eric right. Worre says that the scariest moment for any network marketer is when you open up your appointment book and there's nothing written in it. <laughs> yeah. Because that means you, yeah. you, have no, you have no business opportunity or business growth. Right. I had you write down ahead of time your three biggest takeaways from yep. what you now know with LinkedIn after me teaching you share with the people on okay. here live and potentially on the replay what were those three biggest takeaways and why well first of all and i said this just a couple minutes ago every single person uh, or almost every single person on linkedin is a professional and they are looking to enhance their business in some way whether it's um financial in, in some way and they're looking for an opportunity uh, whether it's to enhance or something new to go off on that's the whole purpose of LinkedIn it's to bring together professionals the the the, the second thing is the amount of connections that you are allowed to have on LinkedIn is six times the amount so, of Facebook. So, Kathy, and just don't tell let them, anybody them, kid you. How many you. connections organically are you allowed to have on LinkedIn? Compared 30, to how many on Facebook? 30. There's the numbers thousand. right there. And the thing about it is, is as far as Instagram is concerned, 
I don't know. I have no idea what the percentage of real connections are on Instagram versus fake. But you I can saw tell my you article this. from the other day. I did. Uh, about a month ago. First, uh, let me say one other thing before I go uh, into this. Folks, the other thing that is really super important about your business is you have to have an accountability partner. If you cannot do it, if you don't have what it takes to be honest with yourself about, I'm just going to sip my coffee today and watch a rerun of whatever and wait for my little uh, ding, ding, ding on the Facebook. It's just not going to happen. Okay. You're going to drink a lot of coffee <laughs> and you're going to watch a lot of reruns. Okay. You got to have an accountability partner. If you don't have the chutzpah to do it yourself for yourself. And I do. My dear friend Joshua is my accountability partner and every single day we report exactly what we've done on all platforms. And, and we only report income producing activities because in business, does anything else matter? Income producing ITAs activities. All day long. You have ITAs to do that all day long. All day long. And you know, in the beginning, we had a, a a level that we would not go below. Now, since then, and we've been doing this for just a couple months, we have upped it, up the ante uh, as far as how many IPAs we should have in a day, and we don't go below that. And some days are real frustrating, and we we talk it out with each other, but we do it. Okay, so let me get back. To, I digress just a minute. So of those, uh, let's see, I was talking about the 30,000 connections and the 5,000 connections and then Instagram. I want to say one thing about that Instagram thing. So about a month ago, I got a, uh, a f I was started getting followed by somebody who was a network marketer, but not in my business. And I'm like, hey, I want to connect up with this person because they had, now this blew my doors away. They had over 10,000 mm. connections and nine posts. And I'm like, nine, what? that's it. What's up with nine, number nine, like the Beatles, <laughs> number nine. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, what is up with this? What kind of magic yeah. do they have? So I messaged them. I messaged them and nothing, nothing. And then I started doing research on this person. I'm like, this person doesn't even exist. So that right there told me it was a fake account. It had to be. And I thought, well, how many more are there? And I, then I read that there's thousands, thousands tens of thousands. They're getting, of and they're getting shut down. And I'm like, well, they're getting shut what? down every day. Right. And what's the sense? What's the sense of trying to market to fake accounts? The, the point of that Marketing, Kathy, it makes no the, sense. The, the point of network marketing, Kathy, is speaking to other human beings on the phone. So right. it's, it's right. like I, I sometimes feel like I'm taking crazy pills because because everyone's <laughs> just the, I, I see it, it's you have to be cons like, don't get me wrong. You have to be consistent on social media. You need to be in front of people all the time. But sure. that's the attraction marketing side. That's not the network marketing side. The network marketing side is actually having human to human connection and conversation. Everyone is trying to automate everything where they don't have like they're doing Facebook ad campaigns where leads get dropped into some bucket and then they just didn't no, you, you yeah, have yeah. to the, the best teams are built off of relationship and rapport. And well, think think of it like I don't know how many of you ever even know who the good humor man is, but back when I grew up, when you heard the bell from the good humor man who was two blocks away, you knew to run to mama, get 25 cents and go out to the curb. Okay. So think of the bell like Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Boom. It's going to get you there. Answer. Um, LinkedIn is like the good humor man standing at the window going, what do you want, honey? And then you point and he goes, 25 cents, please. And boom, everybody mm -hmm. gets what they want. That's, it's, 
All just explain long. how how quickly did you like after I showed you obviously how to build your profile and searching connect. How quickly were you seeing results? The next day. The next day. So so here's here's my thing. What message could you leave people that are watching now or on the replay um, if they truly want to make 2019 and beyond their best? We talked about the whole topsoil versus roots of your tree, the builders. Uh, how how important is it for them to get into action and not hide behind their social media platforms and actually start doing some networking? Whatever your why is, you better turn the heat up on that why. Uh, and if you, what it, <clears throat> whatever it is, you got to get real serious with yourself about, is that really why I'm in business? I mean, freedom is one thing, but you've got to work mm. to get to it. And you cannot have somebody that's just going to play a little bit in the sandbox. You got to want to be able to build that sandcastle yourself and freaking live in it if it's big <laughs> enough. But, you know, <clears throat> you, you got to want this. You got to want it. I mean, what, why are you doing it to begin with? It's, you know what? Here's the thing. I have made some incredible friends in the last two years. I, I love them with my whole heart because I would have never met them had I not yeah. gotten into this. And I just, I get all hyped up when I think about the places I'm going to be able to go, the people I'm going to be able to help, the things I'm going to be able to do, but I can't do it if I'm just going to play. I yeah. got to work. And 2019, I mean, I started doing this in 2017. I started getting more serious about it in 2018, 2019. It's it. It's it. It, it, it's it. And I want to say one other thing about um, LinkedIn. There is not another platform out there that I've found, and Scott, I would imagine that you would know this, when you post on LinkedIn and people that you don't know, because most of the people you don't know, they read your post, they comment on your post, whatever, they share your post. There's this cool little tool where it, you can go in and see, it, it's the analytics of the post of what kinds of people read your post what kinds of people commented on your post. And I'm talking about whether it was somebody who was into HR or whether it was a, a business owner or whatever, whatever field Kathy, they're in. Not to interrupt, but what, what does, what does everyone say? All the top leaders find your avatar, right? Right. The, right. And it's and showing so, you the avatar. And, and right. And, and it tells you, where the what their demographics are like whether they're in LA or Chicago or I mean they're not going to tell you what street they're on or any of that kind of stuff but you don't want right. to know what streets are on you want to know about the other hundreds of thousands of people in their area that are are like them and it gives you this opportunity to be able to reach out and hone your marketing that's like and Gold. beyond that, Kathy, it's the only platform where you can specifically search for people in any city, any state, any province, or any country. Most people, right. most people are building locally, where when you get onto LinkedIn, you can build globally. Globally. globally and so right. you want to talk about having audacious, expansive business goals. Imagine having a team in the UK and New Zealand and, and Australia right. and Ireland. That is all possible because you can't do it on right. Facebook and Instagram, but you can. You could literally build a network <clears throat> of 30,000 people just like you, just in the United Kingdom, if you wanted to. So, Kathy. 
I, before, I, I know. before we end tonight, <laughs> and I appreciate you giving up time, leave everybody with one last message, one last tip of if they were to really step up their game and add in LinkedIn to their tool belt of network marketing skills for 2019, how important and game-changing would that be for them? Well, you can't afford not to do it, period. Um, throw out the equation that you're scared to have con conversations with professionals about business. Because after all, you are a business person too. So everybody puts their pants on the same way. You're going to fumble and screw up. In the beginning, I did it. And I ran a company for 30 odd years and had to be belly to belly with some of the toughest engineers in uh, Northern Virginia and who wanted to eat me alive because they didn't have air conditioning. And you just, it, you just gotta do, you gotta do the do. You gotta do the do. You can't not do the do and yeah. be successful. And LinkedIn gets your first gear and your second gear to fifth gear without any, without you're, even you're, thinking you're about it. You're cruising before you even know it. Truly, I mean, you know, once I started your, your thing and then I got the next day, I got phone appointments. I'm like, oh man, I got phone <laughs> appointments now. Do I? Exactly. That's <laughs> when then I was like, I said, don't be a jerk about it. Just get on the phone it's, and talk it's, to it's, them. It's God just sakes. human connection. And, and Nancy just wrote, the goal is to talk right. to people. And that's exactly right. The goal of network marketing. Right. The person who talks to the most people is always going to win. Plain and simple. And I'm going to, before we, we sign off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with this quote and everybody else is the fact of the matter is this. Les Brown always states, those who take the easy road live the hard life. Those that mm -hmm. take the hard road will live an easy life. So the choice is yours. If you want to keep trying to take that easy road, it's going to be a hard, hard life in the future. But you can change that. You put the work in now. You go, you go literally as hard as you can, nose to the ground, you know, do not come up for air unless you need it. Because if your why is big enough, it should scare the shit out of you. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And, and Scott, if I could leave everybody who's watching or who's going to watch, if I had this, these tools when I was in my 20s, Oh my gosh, it, it kind of chokes me up to think about it. Or even in my 30s, or even in my 40s. But I'm gonna tell you folks, if you are in your 20s or your 30s now, and you've got the opportunity to work in network marketing and you've, you've found the company that is, is, is uh, solid, work your ass off, work your ass off. Because you don't want to get to 50 or 55 or close to 60 and go, oh, man, I got to do this. Because if you already did it in your 20s and 30s, you're going to be mentoring the folks that are 20s and 30s when you're 50 going, let me show you how to do it. And, and you'll be traveling everywhere and you'll be helping everybody. And you just got to do it because life goes by yeah. like that. Rewinding. Blessing. So, so Kathy, um, I just, again, want to thank you for everything that you continue to pour into me. Um, you know, the, the gratitude I have for the ability that I had to work with you and to see you flourish. And, and I, I am so excited to see where everything is going to go for you in 2019, because I really feel 2019 for, for people that want it is the year of 
amazing, amazing growth and change in people's lives in so many ways. So keep being who you are, keep doing what you're doing. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the top together. Right right, on, have a Brian. great night. Thank you Thank so you much so for much. coming tonight. Thanks. You're the best. You bet. Blessing. So uh, as you guys uh, can clearly see, um, I mean, Kathy, she had me all choked up. Um, she's an amazing woman. I, I mean, I, I wish I had uh, the recording of our first conversation on the phone before she hired me. Um, the uncertainty in her voice, the, the questions that she had, is this going to really work? Um, and then this, this immediate change within two weeks, this powerhouse that was always in there. And uh, I, I mean, you can feel her posture now because I, I think once you have certainty that you know that if you keep going, you have something there, you're going to succeed. Certainty is one of the best feelings, one of the best feelings. And Joshua, Kathy is the best, but so are you, brother. You're on your way. You know, having certainty in your life, in knowing that you, you found your path, you, you know where you're going, that's your armor right there. Nothing can penetrate it. So guys, remember, 2019 can absolutely be your life-changing year if you want it to be. When you end the excuses and you start creating that new chapter of that new life for you in the future, that's when the magic happens. So, Kathy, thank you again for joining me tonight. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this. On the replay, please comment along. Uh, I always go back and read this, and you guys have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.